This segment we're going to uh, demonstrate how to fill the uh, felt refillable markers. So we're going to pull the, the cap off. We unscrew the top off of the barrel. Again, we're going to uh, fill probably going to take about 8 to 10 cc's of material and this is a dye based material it's always a good idea to wear uh, protection as far as the gloves um, and safety glasses anytime you're dealing with uh, paints or dyes now on this one I'm going to go ahead and pour the material into a cup because it makes it a little easier to to pour a little less uh, less messy uh, that way I can pinch that cup and get it to pour. And what we want to do is just pour that material into that cotton batting and it will saturate the cotton batting. The way these markers work the batting holds the material and wicks up through the felt tip and wets the tip. We're going to take the cap that has the nib in it and screw it into place. I always like to uh, fill these prior to putting the label on. Uh, it can be very messy and uh, that way you can keep your label clean. The way I like to store these markers, make sure that that top is screwed on well, is to for it to lie flat. That allows the material to disperse well in the, uh, in the batting. If you store them upside down, obviously it's going to want to run out the, the nib. So we're going to put the label on this one. I'm going to pull my gloves off because they're a little dirty. Take a solvent rag and clean this barrel too. That would uh, do that real quick. Material takes it right off of the the barrel there. We're going to put whatever information we need to on the label. We'll take the label and start at the bottom of the label. That's where the overlap will be. And we can just roll that right around. And now we have a, a refilled label, or a refilled marker, excuse me. It's been just a few minutes. Uh, the material is wicked up to the tip or to the nib and now the the die can be die marker felt marker can be used